what questions you should be asking about your customer as you put your online course together. Hey, this is Mark Nelson. This is going to be just an unbelievable show. I'm going to help you out in your thought process, creating a course, putting a product out that are going to help your customer. And there's some very basic questions you should be asking, right? The first one are, what are my customers searching for? You really got to dig deep on that. You know, what are, I know when I made my first course, you know, I was putting out what I wanted to do. In the truth of the matter, it wasn't a very successful course. And there's a reason for it. Because I wasn't finding what my customers needed. So the first question you ask, what are my customers searching for? The next question are, you know, customers, this is the info world. They're all over the place. What videos are they watching? I don't know about you, but I head to YouTube and Google. I look for how-to videos. I look for instructional videos all over the place. So if they have a challenge you're trying to fix, what are they watching? Who's teaching them? Try to find out how you can get in that world too. The next one, right? Right alongside this. What websites do they go to? They go to Amazon? Do they go to Wikipedia? Do they go to Quora? Do they just do a search? Looking out for what other people are, are watching. You need to find that out by using Google. Search. What are customers looking for when they are whatever you're trying to put together? The next one is what books are they reading? I don't know if you're a book reader. I go in streaks. I know I should be reading much more. <laughs> uh, typically what I'll do is I buy a book and I'll read the first couple pages and I'll set it down for probably a week or two and then I pick it back up and start reading it. I don't know why that is. That's just me. I, I'd much rather listen to audio. So in the same breath, what podcasts they listen to? Who do they listen to on YouTube? Right? Answer those questions to try to find out what your customer, your future customer is thinking about. Now, the next one, where are you going to find them? What platform are they on? Are they on Facebook? Are they on Instagram? Are they on Snapchat? Remember when Snapchat was such a big thing? It still is. I'm a teacher. It still is in school because the kids can do a chat with each other and kind of it goes away so nobody can find it. Are they on Twitter? Are they on LinkedIn? You know, what platform are they on? Because when you're building a business, you need to go to find one platform and go out and network with people. And you network with people by learning the questions that I'm asking you to think about. Because when you find out what those questions are that they're thinking about, then you can go into a group and start providing value, start answering questions, and start to be known inside that group. Here's the best question. What's keeping them up at night? Is it money? Is it a job? A relationship? Is it weight? Is it a future health challenge? Is it not being able to provide for their family? About Is it not being able to find the right side hustle for themselves? Is it not being able to, you know, think about that. Here's how I got in business. See, you know, I am my customer. See, in, in the late... I think in my mid fifties, right? We've had a great life, a very blessed life. But in my late fifties, life just hit us. Health challenges, financial challenges. We didn't know what was going on. And I used to really lie awake wondering how, what the heck was I going to do to provide for my family? How was I going to get my kids to school? And the amazing part is, is I started searching people started finding me. It was a period when I didn't have much money, but yet I could spend money for a course. I knew I had to get something. I had to find somebody, someone, somehow that I could learn from. 
right? I, I needed to work on my mindset. I needed to work on my knowledge. I needed to know tech, tech skills. Now, all those didn't happen at once. My mindset I had to work on because I really was had a low self-esteem and I have no clue why, because I've had a very great life, but I had low self-esteem. So I actually went to a coach who really helped me through that, really helped me through that. And I suggest you do that too, right? Because if you're in the wrong mindset, nothing's gonna happen. Do you believe you're gonna be a six-figure earner? Do you believe you're gonna be a seven-figure earner? Well, part of that's on mindset and part of that is you have to say it all the time. Right, I'm creating a new course. I am gonna have six-figure launches. I know it. I'm gonna be a seven-figure business. I know it. I tell myself that every day. The power of affirmations, that's what I do. But anyway, myself, and I don't wanna just talk about me, I was struggling. So I had to change my mindset. And then when I changed my mindset, I had to figure out, well, what the heck am I gonna do? Right, I tried network marketing, great side hustle, great side hustle. I didn't want to get a job because I, that would just take me away from home for seven, eight dollars an hour and weekends, nights and networking. To tell you the truth, I tried that. I wasn't very good at it because I'm an introvert. I lived in a small town, you know, you, you run out of people to talk to at that period really fast because the internet wasn't as big as booming. I didn't know how to work the internet very much. Tech stuff, how to edit videos, how to do a video. How to build a website. I didn't know any of that stuff. So I could have sat back and gone, you know what? I can't do this. Or I could take the next steps and learn it and put things in place. And that's what I did. Didn't know what I was doing. My first course wasn't very good. My first video stunk. My first Facebook Live, I think I was sweating. The first time I spoke on stage, I had to go change shirts before I could get up there because my sweat was so big. <laughs> it was actually pretty funny. Uh, but the first, they're all hard. The first time I thought about writing a book, you know what my thought was? Who would ever read your book? Isn't that sad? So I'm going to challenge you. I want you to go through all these questions, right? I really do. What are your customers searching for? Think about that, right? What videos are they watching? And who are they watching? What books are they reading? What keeps them up at night? If you could write those down, if you can sort those out and find out what that is your customers are going through right now, you are on track to build your financial future and have an amazing course. Hey, I hope that made sense to you. I have a great resource for you called the Ultimate Guide for Course Creation. I always forget what it is. But you can go to my website, marknelsonline.com forward slash course creation. It's just a little easy guide telling you what you need to put in place to start your own course. That's where I started. That's how I started the building a course. I went, well, if I'm going to build a course, what do I need to put together? That's what this guy's for. That's all it is. So go to the link and I'll put the link below, marknelsononline.com forward slash course creation. Hey, y'all take care. We will talk again soon.